We're going to do a meditation based on a Tibetan Buddhist practice called Tonglen. Tonglen. The, import, the name's not really important, but you can find references to it. it. Has simple directions. Breathe in the pain, breathe out love. So it's something that Buddhist monks would go would practice whenever they went into the presence of someone who was sick or in pain. They would take in their pain. They would breathe in the pain of the person that they were with and breathe out a blessing of love to them. And so we can expand that to whatever the difficulty is in your life. Bring it in. Breathe it in. And then bless it. Send a positive wave of love and spirit and creative power out to that issue. Breathe in fear and loss, disorder, injury, disease. Now, this sounds really different from what we practice. Bring negativity into our lives. Let me say something about negativity. If there's only one presence and one power, what's negativity? It's some appearance. It's not of God. Whatever issue there is, whatever disturbance there is, whatever negativity there is, no matter how evil it seems, it is all included, all embraced in the love of God. So there's only one presence and one power. And negativity, disorder, the appearance of evil doesn't really have any power of its own. If we take it in, we're taking it in to oneness. So breathe in the pain, as the Buddhists say, Take it into your heart. And they'd be asked, well, isn't that going to hurt my heart? If I bring this pain, this person's pain, or if I bring in this coronavirus into my heart, or if I bring in the idea of political division or whatever, isn't that going to hurt my heart? And well, the traditional answer is, it will soften the shell that you have around your heart. This is a practice of compassion. Breathe in the pain. Let what's going on there, really let it into your heart. Let it into the deepest spiritual recesses of your being. Breathe it in. So there is a step that you take before you breathe it in. You connect your heart with the heart of God. You make that connection of the unconditional love of God everywhere present, always moving in your heart, through your heart. Breathe it in. Breathe it into your heart. It goes into the heart, into your spiritual and heart center. It goes into the spiritual heart center of the universe. It goes through our physical being into our spiritual being into our spiritual oneness it doesn't stay inside with us we are a channel of that good so compassion and then blessing you know those are two of the elements from a previous uh, talk that I did on uh, Ho'oponopono a traditional Hawaiian healing process that included compassion and blessing, but also included uh, gratitude and forgiveness. So the same principles show up around the world. There's a phrase in the Christmas story that uh, applies to this. 
shepherds and kings and stables and all that stuff. It was confusing. And it said that Mary held it all in her heart. Hold it all in your heart. Hold it all in that connection that you have with God in our true identity. So establish yourself as a spiritual being. Establish your heart as a center of divine love, as a channel for radical acceptance of grace. Okay? The next step is from your heart you send a blessing. You let yourself be a radiating center of spiritual goodness. You bless. You extend love, healing, wisdom, life. Let it flow with each exhalation. Third step. Breathe it in. Take it in. Take it into that spiritual space that you have reminded yourself that exists within you. Every time you inhale, bring it closer. Breathe in the difficulty. Breathe out a completion. Breathe in the pain. Breathe on out the love. So that's the practice. So, once again, pick an issue. Pick something that's going on in your body, in your life, in your family, in our nation, in the world. Something simple and clear or as simple as something as confusing as the coronavirus or peace on earth, okay? And you are a radiating center of divine love in your heart. Notice the sensation of your breath. And as you breathe, there's an opening in your chest and a relaxation in your chest. Bring your attention to that movement of your respiratory system. Bring your attention to the openness that happens when you inhale and to the relaxation that happens around it as you exhale. And there in the center of that movement is your heart center, the center of love, the center of connected energy, a cosmic glue that makes oneness and establishes order and shares abundance. Bring your attention into your heart. And then from your heart, breathe a blessing onto that issue. Let each exhalation be a wave of goodness that comes through you. An energy of wholeness, healing, and creativity. A wave of spiritual energy that moves into you and through you out to that issue. And as you inhale, bring it in a little closer and extend a blessing as you exhale. When you inhale, bring it in a little closer. Exhale a blessing to it, the blessing enfolds it, surrounds it. Continue to bring it closer as you inhale. Bring it into your heart. Bring it into that pathway to the presence of divine love. Breathe it in, breathe out the blessing. Breathe it in and breathe it out. Let your breath move on its own. 
let it be a circular flow of compassion and grace. Let it be a circular flow of giving and receiving. Breathe in the appearance of disorder. Breathe out the blessing of oneness. Sit with that for a moment. Sit with that in the silence of the restoration of oneness, the establishment of wholeness. That issue, that difficulty, remains in the heart of God. It doesn't stay with you. You let it go. We release it. We turn it over to infinite love and wisdom. We trust that presence and power to do with it as it will. We know that good has come out of this. We know that deep in our soul. We know that with the power of faith. It is done. It is so. Amen. And amen. infinite love